Hey, what's going on everybody? So in this episode, we are going to show you your video submissions. Uh, the videos that you guys sent us. Uh, we do appreciate that, your kind of home quarantine projects and uh, your updates on your vehicles. Um, so in this video, you'll see all the uh, submissions or some of the submissions, and then um, we've dropped the Instagram or YouTube of those videos uh, in there. So hope you guys enjoy. What's up everybody? We're doing a quick video for Gas Rats Customs. What you're looking at is not an LS engine. It's a big block Chevy, runs a little nitrous, 468, 10 and a half to 1 compression. And also has hydro boost, some wheel wood brakes, and a bunch of other junk. Moving on into the inside, repaired all the floor, put in a cage from s and couple of Kirky seats keep it nice and safe a little line lock action in there looking underneath that's a quick performance four nine inch 35 spine axles 370 gear also got some Caltrax bars under there sway bar from Hotchkiss also have cutouts a little further up all three inch exhaust and here you can see my little fuel cell with a holly blue pump nitrous bottle battery back here also had to repair back here the the trunk pan so it's also got moroso front trick springs calvert shocks all the way around only well, had it for about three years been working on it on the weekends getting it ready it was ready for the track once they open everything back up i'm going i'm ready and lucky let me know when you're ready we'll go to the track Take you on. Hey, good morning, gas rack guys. I got a request to show you what the drill built shop is working on. So I just finished a little breakfast with my kid. Well, let's go downstairs. I'll show you what we're working on. So in the shop, we're working on a lot of stuff. Uh, foreign stuff, American stuff, all kinds of crap. So today, we're doing all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna show you what I have been working on and what we're gonna do today. Work on little hot rods as well as big hot rods. This is actually a slot car. I'm gonna convert all these into slot cars so I can race and play with them. Been working on these medallions for the stick shift knobs and horn buttons. They're coming out okay, pretty happy with them. Gonna be turning my own stick shift knobs out of wood, so we do woodwork, metal work, whatever it takes to get the job done. Let's go see the real job today. So today we're gonna be taking apart a front clip off a 1956 Suburban. Uh, Carry-all, clamshell rear door, kinda nice. So for this job, and I find for a lot of the jobs in the Jarrell shop, two tools are needed. One, a universal metric American standard wrench. Really good to have. The other, that you can't live without, persuader. So let's go see if we can persuade this rear end to front end off. So I've got the fenders off and the sheet metal, but what's really hard are the half inch rivets that are placed throughout this whole thing, keeping the front end off. Persuader works, watch. So the shackles, I think, are kind of loosened up. Let me work on the front. Okay, put the persuader down. Let's see if it works. And that's how you take a front clip off a 1956 Chevy Suburban. Got a Mustang 2 clip that's gonna go underneath here. Got a 454 with a 700H uh, trans for it. RV cam, this thing's gonna purr down the highway, pulling all my other toys. 
Stay tuned. I look forward to seeing the other Gas Rat guys out there shopping what you're working on. Hey Gas Rats, my name is Scott. This is my shop here. I figured I'd show you a couple of my projects that I got going on. I have a 1968 SS396 that I'm in the process of trying to get together. And I have a 66 Chevy uh, short bed project that's kind of like long term always going on right now. That's the two that I have in my shop. Um, I'd like to walk around and show you what I got real quick and, and what's going on. So hold on. All right, here's my shop. This is my 66 Chevy pickup sitting in hibernation waiting for the rains to stop so it can be sitting outside again. Here's my 68 SS 396. This should be on the road in about a month. Um, on down over here through some of my tools and whatnot. This is my bench right where all the magic happens right there. Come on down over this way a little bit. The El Camino's got a super clean interior. Really nice. I've never driven it. I bought it as a project. So it's going to be a lot of fun when I finally get it out on the road and drive it for the first time. Uh, just did the brakes on it. Right there. Still working that out, but we're almost there with it just about ready to start going back together. The engine, 325 horse, 396 with a larger cam in it, should run pretty good. Getting some of my old stuff, my old lathe, kind of proud of that. A couple more than my stuff. And my pride and joy, my 66 Chevy pickup. Been in my family since 1969. I have never known life without this truck. Love this truck and I can't wait to get it back out and driving during the summer and just enjoy it like it's meant to be. But anyways, that is my shop. This is where I spend my time. This is where I hide out and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Today I'm working on my 72 Camaro. I'm gonna put electric exhaust cutouts on it. I got a head start on it yesterday, sort of. I cut out a section that's a little too far back for my liking. I was trying to save the H-pipe on the dual exhaust, but uh, that's just gonna have to go. So uh, I'll show you around the car here and uh, we'll get things started. This car was originally purchased by my mother-in-law in 1972. I'm the second owner of this Camaro. I bought it back in 2016. It had broken down and been garaged since 1992 and was buried with stuff. It's a numbers matching original paint 350-350 car. It was in really great shape when I got it. With a lot of work and help from my friends, my dad, and my local shop, John Service Center, we got it up and running. The vision I had for this car is to turn it into a mostly period correct 70 street machine that can be driven daily and occasionally take it down to the drag strip for some fun. That did it. Rats. It's uh, Jacob, also known as Rusty Ranger, and uh, just getting back to you on that video. And uh, hope you guys like my uh, my little setup in the little garage in the alleyway. <laughs> Got the uh, working on the truck right now, so uh, this quarantine going on gives me a lot of time to uh, fix all the things I need to do. So let's uh, check it out. All right, so here's my truck. It's a 2002 Ford Ranger. It's a 3.0, so it's. Uh, not the most powerful truck out there, 
but it's enough to have some fun. You know, I get out to the desert with the guys and just have a good time. You know, that's what it's all about. So uh, right now I'm working on the uh, coil spring. I think the previous owner had it uh, twisted, wasn't sitting right. But uh, I also got my uh, my dirt bike. This is my other project going on. Needs a valve adjustment. And I, uh, this is the big one, the uh, Ford 88. It's got a uh, 410 with a posi in it. So it'll spin those 33s. And uh, yeah, this is my, uh, my little setup. Hope you guys enjoyed.